Sup dudes, so I said I was gonna do a 500 subscriber video, um, I slacked on it a little bit and I'm sorry about that, but it's actually okay that I did, because while I was waiting, we hit kind of another marker, and I'll get to that in a moment, but first off, thank you so much for getting me to 500 subscribers. Like, that's, that's seriously awesome. The fact that 500 plus of you wanted to support my silly little let's play, you know, oh so original channel, is, you know, it means a lot. And it's okay that not all, you know, not all of you watch all the videos, and that's fine too. The fact that you guys just liked what you saw and wanted to show some support is awesome. Um, it's especially awesome, though, for those of you I see in the comments regularly. Um, you know, because I'm, I'm small enough that I sort of know who my regulars are, and the fact that I can say I know who my regulars are is also itself really very uh, touching. And I won't lie, I, and I do, I get excited whenever I see a name I don't recognize, because I think, like, oh, I, you know, it's like someone new, you know, got engaged and enjoyed what they saw and all that. So, you know, thank you very much to all of you. Um, but also, uh, I hit my one-year Let's Play anniversary. Now, this channel isn't one year old, but on August 18th of last year, I uploaded my first... Let's Play video, and it was of, surprise, surprise, Five Nights at Freddy's, but it was last August. And at the time, I wasn't looking at doing it as a Let's Player. Um, some friends and I had made these videos because we wanted to sort of challenge each other to play the game, because this was back when Five Nights at Freddy's was new, and it was super scary, and no one knew anything about it. And we all made it, you know, we all made videos and passed them around. And I had a lot of fun making it, and I, you know, my friends seemed to enjoy it, and I thought, why not? I'll give it a shot. And at the time, I was I was recording with, um, like, a Blue Yeti sitting on a little table in a hotel room with my MacBook that was running parallels to run the game, and I was recording it with the trial version of Camtasia with a cheap little Logitech webcam. It was a really stripped-down you know, budget setup, but, you know, I, I had a lot of fun with it, and I, and I really enjoyed doing it. Now, after that, I tried to collaborate on a channel with a friend of mine who is a tech journalist, but we didn't live in the same city, and we had to, like, Skype call, and it didn't really work, so after that, you know, I made this channel here. And since then, I've, I've done everything in my power to make the videos as good as I possibly could, for anybody who might find it. You know, I've got, like, a real camera, and a better microphone, I've got, like, sound dampening, and, and that damn thing. And it's been a ride of not just, you know, because I've, I've always said I treat these videos as a lot more than just camera, microphone, scream and yell, upload it, hope for the best. Like, I really put everything in my power into making every video as good as I can. I want everybody who finds this channel for the first time to be able to pull up any video, or like the most recent video, and for it to be a good one. Because I've always had that sort of feeling of, if you make good videos, the audience will come in. Very Field of Dreams, you know, if you build it, they will come. And, um, that's not always the case, and it can get a little discouraging. And for those of you who have seen me on Twitter sometimes, my mood can drop, and I apologize for that. I never mean to be some sort of, you know, droopy dog, grumpy Gus kind of, ooh, you just want to be awesome kind of thing. So, but, you know, so I'm sorry about that. But that gets into the whole um, impossible challenge thing for 500 subscribers. If you follow me on Twitter, and I've been saying that a few times, because if you don't, you should, because that's my favorite way of interacting with folks. Um, you may have seen I bought these guys. Yeah, bag of dried ghost peppers, you know. Um, but I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna do a challenge on this video. Uh, sorry. Um, I've done impossible challenges on hitting certain numbers before, like for example, whenever I hit 50 subscribers, I did it with the Second Dimension Ghost Pepper sauce, playing Binding of Isaac. Whenever I hit 100, I waxed my chest playing Five Nights at Freddy's. And when I, when I sat down sort of thinking about doing it this time, it just didn't feel right, and it, it, it didn't feel right for two reasons. Um, one is, you know, when you do a channel like this, you do sort of hope that you go somewhere with it, that it turns big. And obviously not everybody can, and that's just a reality, you know? This channel might 
completely fall flat, but, you know, I, I, I keep going, hoping to get somewhere with it. But, you know, let's say hypothetically, you know, you know, you want to do milestone videos for what you'd call like big numbers, you know, you know, a thousand, five thousand, ten, fifty, a hundred, five hundred, you know, big numbers. And I don't want to, and I want to do, I, I would want to do crazy impossible videos for all that, but I, do, I wouldn't want it to be repetitive. I wouldn't want every time I hit like another thousand subscribers, like, oh, we're just ripping out the ghost peppers again. You know, I almost kind of wish I hadn't blown my load on doing wax in my chest at a hundred because, damn, that, that, I mean, that hurt. Like, <laughs> I'm not doing that again. That was unpleasant. And I kind of wished I had done that at a time when more people were around to have seen it. Um, the other, the other thing is, you know, I don't, I don't like the idea of looking like somebody who is overinflating smaller accomplishments. You know, we've all known that guy that, like, you know, his band will win Battle of the Bands at Shenanigans Sports Pub because they did a couple of really good Bon Jovi covers. Or, you know, his he gets MVP at the YMCA Intramural Basketball Tournament. And he starts treating it like he just won, like, a Grammy or MVP at the NBA Finals. And you go, all right, dude, you did a good job, but r relax, it's not that big a deal. Because you see a lot of big YouTubers and, like, Mark and Jack and Yami and all those guys, and they do these big you know, important videos when they hit these milestones and, you know, and I think that's great. And those kind of videos should be saved for those kind of numbers. You know, it's not that I'm in any way downplaying the connections I've made with every single one of you guys. Not at all. I've said before and I mean it from the heart that I'm super grateful for every subscriber, but I want to look realistically at where I am and where I have to go forward. So the ghost peppers are going to relax. Um, they'll come out at a thousand because I feel like adding a new digit, uh, you know, adding a new tens place to the number, that's something a little more substantial, you know. And 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 I do get a little moody at times, and I'm sorry for that. But the reality is, you know, when you start something like this, you do want to see it grow. And I try very hard to phrase things like that. Like, I'm not being sulky about it, but it's more like trying to figure out what to do to further the channel. Because I do want to further this. I want to go somewhere. I partnered with Fullscreen recently because I want to use the tools they have to go places, to, to grow the audience. And the reason I want to grow the audience isn't because out of some, like, I don't want to be a celebrity. The idea of having a million, five million, ten million subscribers is appealing to me not because I don't want people to like, you know, tell me about it. I was like, ah, oh, you're so great, SGD, I love you. It's not stuff like that. I want the idea of the videos that I make to be entertaining to as many people as possible. When I make every video, I put everything I can in it to be fun to watch. Something that I would watch if I hadn't been the one to make it. Because I really want people to be entertained. I want the most number of people possible to be entertained. Not to boost my ego, but because I really like entertaining. You know, and that and if, if that sounds disingenuous or if that sounds like I'm just bullshitting, then fine, I'm sorry, but it's true. You know, I'd rather be, you know, I'm not looking to be somebody, I would never want to be somebody where if I go out shopping or to the bar, uh, not that I really go to the bar anymore, uh, where I go out and I, I get like fans on me. That would be weird. You know, I, I, I wouldn't know how to deal with that. But knowing that a lot of people laughed or, you know, it, it just were entertained in one fashion or another by videos I've made, that means a lot, you know. So, yeah, you know, to bring her around home, it means a lot that we've hit 500. And I think it's amazing that you guys have stuck with me through all the breaks and gaps and issues and everything else. And I hope that, you know, we keep going. But I have a lot, you know, there's, there is more progress to be made. There's more work to be done to get further down this road. And I really want to do it, you know? So thank you for 500. I hope to see you at a thousand and beyond, you know, and that's when we'll start pulling out, you know, that's when we'll start pulling out the big guns. That's when we'll start doing, you know, ghost peppers and paintballs and all that. So, all right. All right. All right. SGD out.